women are one of the most beautiful, yes. amazing, wonderful parts of this existence yes. as a man. You simply have to do the work required for her to want to create that reality for mm. you. And if you've done that, you'll soon see that women are absolutely wonderful. They are. They're absolutely wonderful, especially when they love you and they can get behind you. You know, there's, there's not a more beautiful thing in this world than a woman that, that looks up to and values a man. Yeah. You know, it, it is what makes doing all this work worth it. You know, and that's why another thing on that subject, a lot of these guys don't believe in love. Right. You know, oh, I'm never going to. Dude, that's fucking bullshit, too. Yeah. You can absolutely love a woman. Yes. And, and it be one of the most amazing things in your life. You can love a woman and know that love is also conditional. Those are two yeah. things that you both have to. But and it's factual. Pro, it's factual. Like un, unconditional love for a female homo sapien needs to be reserved for her children. Right. You, listen, man, if you guys have a kid, you want, your, if you're, you want your wife to be willing to die for this kid. That's your kid. This yeah, is that's not, your legacy. That's your legacy. This is not some unfortunate turn of events. This right. is fucking human evolution. Yeah. It has to be this way. Otherwise, there's not 8 billion people on this planet. Right. The species does not survive numerous near-extinction events during the Plasticine epoch if we do not have mothers willing to die for their fucking children. That right. is the reason why. So because she has reserved that un conditional love for her children and you don't get it don't be mad about right. that and it doesn't mean you can't love her it right. does exactly right and, and and i say this often i said do get mad or play ball bro these yeah. are the rules of the game i didn't make them but i am telling you because i care about you yeah disney and that fairy tale dream <laughs> that they've pitched you is a fucking lie it's consumerism and i think that a lot of the reason that a wedge is driven between men and women because you have ta twice the taxpayers you know, you got all these bad bitches everywhere. Now they have jobs, you know, and I, with all my heart and not from an angry place, believe that women are less happy now than they've ever been. And I don't think it's going to get any better. When you say bad bitches, you mean girls calling themselves bad girls bitches. that call themselves. I yeah, don't need no sure. man, blah, blah, sure. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. You know, uh, and a lot of times girls will say that until the right man walks in their life and they'll change their whole fucking tune. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's very important for a young man, particularly a young man, in my opinion, to understand that. There's no reason to be angry, but there's certainly a reason to flip on the lights and look at it for what it actually is and always have that in your back pocket and an understanding because it'll remind you when it's time to turn it on or not, you know, in, in your life. And especially with dealing with women or your career or whatever you need to do, or even looking in the mirror yourself, it's like, listen, I need to pick my shit up or eventually she's going to lose respect for me. Yeah. When she loses respect, she's going to leave. Yeah. So I, I, it couldn't be more true. And unfortunately, guys don't want to face the truth. Let, let's talk about this. It, and it goes with dating and in your professional life. Unrealistic expectations po cause people to quit. I think that's the reason why people quit in relationships. And I think that's why people quit when you're talking about before about some uh, tradesman who runs off and starts his own business. He had unrealistic right. expectations. Can you talk about setting these realistic right. expectations so you don't quit? Right. So first of all, I believe that the, f the formula to happiness is the gap between your expectation and your reality. Yeah. 100%. In, in regards to, to relationships, guys have this notion that because they chose this girl and they sent her flowers and they told her she was pretty and she looked good in that dress when she was actually a little bit fat, you know, and need to go to the gym. You, you understand? All these, all these different... And you expressed your feelings. Yeah. You told her your feelings. Yeah. She doesn't care about your all feelings. All these different things. And they think that she's going to be loyal because, because he's not leaving and because they made a promise at an altar in front of a bunch of people somewhere in the South and in that it's always going to be a fairy tale. It's fucking bullshit. And what I think creates devastating pain to men. In fact, I believe that love has caused more pain than war. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I, I don't think it's fucking close. Yeah. And so a man grows up. He 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 does all the right things. He buys the flowers. He 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 kisses her in the rain. He goes to he goes to work, and then he comes home and expects her to love him even when he's fat and all these different things. And then she leaves, and he gets a news flash from the world that everything he's been told was a fucking lie. And there's these actual rules about how the world really works and what female nature really is. And he fucking offs himself or he becomes inceled, or he hates women, or, or lives in anger and pain for the rest of his life. It's one of the saddest things on the planet, all because he had the expectation that Disney was real, and it's not. Yeah, It's absolutely not. And I'll tell you another thing, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but God's not coming to save you either. Right. I watched my father. My mother cheated on him with men from church. My father divorced her, 
she came back, he married again, and then had to divorce her again for man. the same reason. And my father clung to the Bible, and he's a wonderful man. In the 80s, the information wasn't there. But God is not coming to save you. Your mother's not coming to save you. Your friends love you and want to see you do well, but they don't care enough to, to make you do something. The realities of this world are real. You have to go educate yourself on female nature. You have to do the work to become the kind of man that a woman wants. And then never forget what you know about how it works. And then that way you don't have to find yourself with this huge gap between your expectations yeah. and reality. Because if you do that and the gap is big, you're going to be fucking miserable at a minimum. Yeah. So, I mean, that is, that is kind of a dangerous thing. And I have some friends because I do come from the Bible Belt also. Yeah. And I do have religious beliefs. Uh, but the thing is, like, where, where was God with the Pol Polish people when Hitler invaded in 1939? And then when the, when the Hutus killed the Tutsis, a million people in 100 days in 1992 in Rwanda, where was God then? Like, again, I'm not saying that there is no God. What I'm saying is it was a good idea for you to hide right. in the fucking bushes. It was a good idea for right. you to get out of uh, West, uh, East Germany before, right. before the fucking wall came up. It was a good idea for you to look after yourself and make sure that, hey, I can help God help me out here right. and make sure that I do the best for myself and have a bunch of success. You know what's also great is not being, uh, not having, you know, 30% uh, uh, body fat. Right. I understand God's supposed to save you, but you know what would also help is if you didn't have that high cholesterol. Right. It would help you if you, you actually helped yourself in some of these situations. Because some people have these very unrealistic expectations and it becomes unhealthy when you think, man, listen, uh, is God going to send you somebody? I don't know. What I do know is that God's going to send you somebody a lot better <laughs> looking, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you do, when you can speak better and look better and have a better job, that's just the way I look for it. Again, I, we talk about Bo Jackson versus Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders is going to duck and dive and he's going to get right. to the end zone. He's going to make you miss. Bo Jackson does not care who's in front of him. Right. He is going to get to the end zone and you're going to die trying to tackle him. That's the way I look at every single thing that we, that we, it's not even a choice, bro. We have to do this. We have to. Here's another thing. I talked about this with Brandon Carter last week. He was on here. And, uh, and it was like, man, think about the, the opposite. What's the opposite, right? For, to not do what we say. Unlimited porn. Right. Right? I call Postmates. As much sugar, salt, and fat as my ancestors could ever dream of. I could kill myself on McDonald's French fries today. Yep. Just as my, and it wouldn't even cost me $200. Yep. Just like the, the alternative to just sit there and have my mommy tell me I'm special. And like, I don't yeah. that, oh, the, she broke up with you because she, she doesn't deserve you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's not good enough for you. <laughs> yeah. Mom, really? She doesn't deserve me. She's at the Met Gala right now with Kanye. Yeah. I don't understand why she yeah. doesn't deserve me. That sounds a little weird. Um, and so you, you have all these things where you, you believe this, right? And then uh, you end up in the situation where like, you're, you, like you said, you, you believed in someone else's <clears throat> truth. You believed in someone else's truth that you were told. And like, you, you're going to have to save yourself. If, that, if there's anything you take from this, and by the way, Let's go back to this other thing. I love women, bro. I love women. I love being around women. I love yep. hanging out with women. I love talking to women. I, I, there's a woman, uh, uh, she's in her 60s, and she taught me. She was getting 56% return at her hedge fund, and she mentored me. I love that woman. Yep. I'll take that woman to dinner anytime she wants for her right. birthday. I, when, when my birthday party, I had four girls come and plan my whole thing, and 56 girls showed up. Yep. I love the shit out of women. But the they're thing, wonderful. They're they one, love you and respect you. For, it, that's exactly when they when they love you and respect you. So I would like to pass that on as well, is because a lot of people who are somewhat engaged in our circles, right. they get that wrong idea that this is the enemy. I don't right. think it, I don't think it's offense versus defense. I really think that they are the referee in the in the in the field. Like yeah. we just have to play certain rules.